how's everybody out there doing today? This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I just want to have a quick talk with everybody today. With what we got going on right now with this whole shortages thing and mandates and everything else, it's very important for you all to be prepared. I can't stress this enough. You need to do this before the ball drops, December 31st. Because come January 1st, number one, a lot of companies have already announced they'll become, as we get closer to January 1st, they're going to be raising all their prices. Now that's very bad for any consumer, especially people that are already on a tight budget. So you have time. You have time to still buy products and everything else at a cheaper price than what the prices are that are coming and looming for the next year. You need to make sure that you're doing whatever you can to be prepared now. Your time is starting to run short. I really don't like being the bearer of bad news, but uh, this is the hand we were dealt. And we're gonna have to live with it because obviously the people in government well, they just don't really care now, do they? If they did, we wouldn't be in the situation that we're in. So what can you do? You need to take a stockpile of what you have now. Everything, everything in your house, from soup to nuts, what you use on a daily basis, what your family uses and needs on a daily basis. And then keep adding to that, folks. I did a video on my $300 Walmart spree, my prepping spree. Now, not everybody can do that. Now, I did save up for a few weeks, put the money aside, and took that money and put it towards topping off everything in my inventory as far as food goes. Now, I'm working on all the other products that I'm going to need that are going to be going up after the first of the year. On January 4th, all the mandates go into effect. Now, how this is gonna play out, nobody really knows. We don't know what's gonna happen. We do know, though, that the Truckers Union has stated that they are not going to comply. And if that means a lot of the truckers walk off the job in protest, that's gonna cause serious, serious chaos in this country. And you don't want to be a part of that. You don't want to have to go to the store and notice all of a sudden you can't get certain products. And they may be products that you actually do need. They may be medical products. They may be baby products. Things that you have to have. Right down to your dog food, your cat food, and all those different types of things. So my suggestion is for everybody to really start thinking about what they're going to do and how you're going to accomplish being prepared for the unknown that's coming after the first of the year. I would say that you know, normally most people are real happy when the new year rolls around and the ball drops and it's the new year. Well, for you all out there or just watching this video for the first time, well, it ain't gonna be that kind of a happiness because we all know what comes after that ball drops and we strike midnight. Things are gonna change. And I don't think it's gonna change for the good if you understand what I'm saying. So the moral of the story is, folks, the ball's in your court. What are you gonna do to prepare? Are you prepared to not be prepared? What are you gonna tell your kids if all of a sudden you don't have food on a table because you weren't prepared? Maybe this year, maybe you should cut back on what you're gonna be buying for Christmas gifts. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices in order to survive. That is the name of the game, folks. You have to be ready. Don't be one of these parents that are gonna be sitting there wondering how you're going to feed your kids or what are you going to do to put food on a table to have 
things in the house, to have emergency supplies, cleaning supplies, all those different types of things, all your toiletries, all this type, different type of stuff, it all goes into play when you're doing your prepping. So on that note, I think I've covered just about everything. As far as it goes, folks, you have to be prepared. Like I said in the beginning, make yourself a plan. Go through your whole house on what you people use on a daily basis, you and your family, and start adding to them from toothpaste, extra toothbrushes, deodorant, soap, food, dry goods, canned goods, everything. Maybe if you find a great deal, load your freezer up. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Till next time, folks. I'll catch all of you.